Good evening, everyone. Hello. Are everybody's lights out? <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for spookiness. I'm so excited. Um, have you played this already? I have. I did. Okay. Have you? I have. There are a couple of moments where I, I jumped. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so creepy. And I played Sepulchre a whole bunch, and that is super creepy still. And mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil anything for the other parts, but yeah. So tonight we're going to play Inhale as a, as a, hey, check this game out kind of thing. Um, and full disclaimer, Soha and I both are voice actresses in the Charnel House trilogy. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we have... Yeah, you can find us in Exhale. And also, Nina's one of our best friends. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Super collusion stream! <laughs> and Nina is in the chat, raised in white. She is the writer and director of the Charnel House trilogy. Oop. Yay! And um, Jack DeKeat did some music for the Channel House trilogy. Another stream friend. Yeah, this is a stream friend's bonanza game. <laughs> <sighs> so, um, okay, we're gonna play Inhale for you tonight, and then hopefully you'll check out the rest of the game. And it's it's awesome, I have to say. <laughs> It's, it's very good. Like, unobjectively, a very, very excellent mm -hmm. um, three games. Absolutely. I, I love this. Um, I love the little fireflies around this lantern. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news. The blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. <laughs> I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because whoever heard of employment law? <laughs> So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous Test Pilot. Oops. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Okay. Here we are. And that's Madeline Rue as Alex. She wrote Asylum. I need to pick up that book. I just started reading it. It's good so far. The door to my apartment. Sure, I'm going to stand around staring at it all <laughs> evening. The peephole doesn't even work. That's upsetting. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, uh, the game audio can go up a little bit. Oh, okay. I will do that. Metrico says, or the mic could go down as much. I think it's the game audio. There, we'll crank it. <laughs> Crank it. Let me know if that's better. Chat. <laughs> Nina's giving out collusion facts. Nervous test pilot <laughs> is Paul from Mode 7, makers of Frozen Synapse and Frozen Cortex. <laughs> and the, the DJ that we heard at the beginning there is Carl Ellison. Yes. Um, who's also a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, really want oh, Kent just said it in chat. Uh, ben Chandler did work on this. Who is Kelsey's boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the radio station is BC three hundred four, and his um, Twitter is oh, I just got that Ben three hundred four. <laughs> um, and <laughs> Ivan Ulyanov did most of the work in Inhale and Exhale, and Ivan is a fantastic artist. Oh my God! Yeah. I don't oh, really learn? want to wear a coat indoors. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since... since... well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up, though. 
Rude. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. My adorable little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert it is. <laughs> There's Dave Gilbert of Wadja Eye Games making his cameo appearance as a plant. <laughs> sure. I could use a shower. A portal to an exciting other world. Or as the landlord calls it, the bathroom. <laughs> There are only so many showers I can take. I was walking through Washington Square Park the other day when I saw a woman having a long animated conversation with herself, apparently. Nobody else around, but she was really going at it, arguing with air almost. Hmm. She's a redhead like me too, a bit older though, and you know what I realized? That's me, that is. I wonder who that could be. I actually get fired from the station and end up missing talking to you guys so much that I just go full throttle talking to myself instead. So to the anonymous woman <laughs> talking to herself in Washington Square Park, I salute you. You gave one insecure DJ some hope for the future. <laughs> and that's um, a reference to Rosa from the Blackwell series. Sure, yeah. I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. Ah, oh, like me. <laughs> so many happy <gasps> memories of sitting here doing fuck all. I have nothing but love for this sofa. Wait, no, the other thing. Apathy. <laughs> it's a sofa. Actually, it's a bed too. That sofa looks really comfy, honestly. Like <laughs> really squishy. My trusty portable radio. These days, it gets a lot of use. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. <laughs> it's a novelty phone. <laughs> Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. There are messages on the answering machine. And this is my first appearance as the answering machine. <laughs> Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message. Received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this <laughs> is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there. And I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the Hello, morning, Mom. right? Right. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. I really like that there are portraits for both the people who call you, even, like, the spam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, like, the guy <laughs> top head and monitor. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm not calling her or anyone else. Not tonight. It's a novelty phone. My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god. Never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. If I was drinking coffee, or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. <laughs> I love how sassy Alex is. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. The kitchen. I'm not actually a bad cook, I just usually can't be bothered. Same. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. <laughs> I'm not reaching back there again. I'm not Oh, did I ever get the... Did I get what was in the plant? I don't think I did. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. So you want I to love where she smoking, leaves her packages. Yeah, by I it's burn great. It. I burn it. I wish I found this now. <laughs> I'll just put it back where it was. <laughs> the snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. A surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. A memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. <laughs> While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think <laughs> oh, I'll leave it Oh, poor doggy. <laughs> I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. Some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. <laughs> I've already read Burn. it twice, <laughs> because that's how exciting my life is. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. I should turn the PC on first. Power on. Good idea. <laughs> that's my one of my favorite jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Aww. <laughs> hey, what's up? We're at a party. <laughs> it's happening. I'm not changing it. I kind of like bitter reminders. It's a photo of me with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there, too. <sighs> it was taken on my birthday a few Ooh. months ago. Right, let's do this. Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever. I always <laughs> it. Very personable. Makes me feel like I, I wonder who this is about. I have no idea. No time for that now. <laughs> Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course, I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it! What did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. So, yeah. <laughs> Nina says, fun fact, wallpaper aside, that's my taskbar and Ivan's desktop icons. <laughs> People have asked why Alex has Chrome and Firefox there. Answer is because Fire FTP is great and Alex uses Firefox as an FTP client. <laughs> I don't think oh, I would have goodness. even pointed that out. There's Firefox. Dosbox is there. Yeah, yep. I see it now. Yep, there's Dosbox. I, <laughs> I definitely didn't pick it up on uh, on my first play. What else is here? There's Skype. There's a PS1 emulator, says Nina. Evermedia live capture. <laughs> The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. An unremarkable desktop lamp. There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A ten-foot <laughs> extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. <laughs> Achievement. Okay, so we gotta find our password. Oh, you got an achievement? Yep. Nice. S special delivery. Okay. 
I got a replay for the Chivos. Yeah, you got a hundred percent this. Well, shit, it's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was, is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. Let's do this then. Sophia's inhaler. Might as well bin this tomorrow. Nah, let's not get sidetracked with <laughs> things like asthma. <laughs> the Mirror by Graham Masterson. I remember this being pretty terrifying when I was a teenager. I wonder if it'd hold up. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. I have an especially strong connection to her writing. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. In fact, everyone should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fifty Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles, Volume 2. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. A beautiful novel by an author whose books I <laughs> totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. <laughs> I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. Death, The High Cost of Living. Just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. <laughs> I had an onk. <laughs> Special topic. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. By Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Okay, so what was our clue? The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Walks the shores? I can't face the oh, shame of seeing the due date. Oh, Cassell. You are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, Aww. I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. Okay. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, hmm. and even I would have remembered signing for it today. Looks like it says Benwood or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, great. Fucking perfect. <laughs> I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Jesus. <laughs> oh no! Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Looking outside, it seems like the storms hit a little early, New York. Rain, thunder, lightning, the works. So batten down those hatches and get ready for a cozy musical night in with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively on BC304 FM. Nice. Hmm, it can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. 
Oh, it must be jammed. I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. <laughs> Miniature dog! This'll work. I think this little guy's <laughs> tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. <laughs> That's like all adventure games. Pretty much. <laughs> <clears throat> Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Oh, poor doggy. <laughs> well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. My cracked little doggy. <laughs> right, let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch, I'll just stick some crappy horror on. <laughs> Kent asks, why does every game you play have a tragic animal injury? It's our favorite genre. <laughs> huh? Shit. I fell asleep. Huh. Con 8. Phone's ringing. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob. Hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. Nope. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Hello? Yes, this is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Every time he pops up, it makes me jump. I know, same. Like, I even know when it's gonna happen, and something about it is just unsettling. Hey, Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be alright. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Alan. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need, I just need... It's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. He seems nice. That's Jim Sterling. Wait. <laughs> I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob. I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. I love this art so much. It Outside, looks so good. The city begins to withdraw. 
the siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. Mm -hmm. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. The snow looks so good too. It looks like the Did Ivan do all here. the artwork for the Inhale? Yes. Falling. As far as it's I know, yeah. Clean, yep. crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. <laughs> Nina. Nina says a huge bag. <laughs> Just gone midnight. Feels like I've been here forever. It's a bit too big to carry <laughs> This place is lonely and forlorn. Took an expensive cab ride to get here. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station looks like it hasn't been used in years. Nina says, bended some of it, bended Alex's basic sprite. Sweet. Oh, okay, cool. This place is lonely oh. and forlorn. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station- Okay. Nina says, use the lighter online. Okay. Imagine if I just set his tweed jacket on fire. <laughs> I wonder how he'd react. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have this toy dog. Why did you bring it? I picked it up and put it in my purse. <gasps> it seemed the right thing to do, don't you think? So <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I never got that the first time. <laughs> You pick it up and put it in your purse. He probably has his own ticket, and if not, he's still not getting mine. I don't think he needs to see what's inside. He was vaping earlier, offering a cigarette to <laughs> <would be> cool. <laughs> a pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. Train tracks. They don't look very well maintained. I probably shouldn't start playing on the tracks. Probably not, no. <laughs> A forest. The trees are bare in the winter months. I've never been here before. I should explore when I'm back from Augur Peak. I used to love walking in the forest with Mom and... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go walking in the forest when I'm back. Although I imagine there are plenty of forests on Augur Peak to explore. I can't go off exploring forests right now. The train's coming. An intellectual looking guy. His jacket has elbow patches. Cool. So, hey. You been waiting long? I, uh... I'm not sure. I'd lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. <laughs> so, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. 
<laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, <laughs> fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah. I won't pry any further, but you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Hmm. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. Hmm. You've got just an interesting book. Here you go! I guess, I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Looks like this is us. What a great train. Yeah. I like trains. Two passengers. Done! Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. Well, well. What's this then? Who's that cute little dog? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I know just who'll like this. Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon, and you'll be back home before you know it. <gasps> Aye, I reckon so. Tom. <sighs> That's inhale. Thank you for joining us. At um at some point we will come back and do sepulcher and exhale. But we wanted to mm -hmm. give everyone the chance to play it for themselves because it is so story driven. Um so yeah, you should go check this out. It's on Steam. I think it's still at the the discount price for another few days, so go check it out. I'm Kelsey, you can- Go get it. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> I'm Kelsey, you can find me on the internet at kelseyr713.rocks and at nerdybutflirty.com. So, where can we find you? I'm Soha, you can find me on Twitter at S-O-K-A-R-E-E-M-I-E, -E -E, and lately I've been uh, writing some pieces for motherboards, so you can also find me there. Um, yeah, so are we 
Do you think we'll start Shelter 2, or yeah. are we just calling it a night? Yeah, I think, yeah? Yeah, I think we can play that for a little bit until the next stream. Yeah. Which is also so yours. <laughs> <around>. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm streaming at 9 Eastern Time. I'm streaming with Scott. We're returning with Advanced Warfare, but stick around because me and Kelsey will be back for Shelter 2. Yes. I'm sure nothing tragic will happen in that game. Of course. And I want to thank <laughs> Nina for joining us in chat and giving us some creator commentary. Thank you, Nina. <laughs> Um, and you can find Stream Friends on the internet at streamfriends.tv, twitch.tv slash streamfriends, and at streamfriends on Twitter. Have a good night, everyone. But don't go anywhere. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Awesome. Okay. And... We should be stopped. Sweet. Maybe? Okay, there we go. Yeah! Oh, you're good? Yes. Okay, and I installed shelter, so that should be good. Woo!